Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and today I'm going to be uh, going through my cover collection that I have. Um, this video was actually re requested, um, oh, it's been quite a while ago when I asked on my community tab uh, for some ideas on videos that you guys would like to see. And this was one of them. And um, yeah, so I'm just now getting around to it. I apologize for that. Um, so my two main planner sizes that I use that work for me uh, consistently are the Weeks and A5. So those are the two cover sizes that I have. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's start with the Weeks size planners. So these three covers are all from Print Prussian. These are his Folio Snap uh, version for the Weeks. Um, I think I'll show you this one because it doesn't have anything in it. This is the flamingo color. It's like a perfect pink. Um, yeah, really pretty. Um, and this is his uh, Saffiano uh, material. It's a faux leather is uh, what he refers to it. It's it's very, it's very nice. It's um, not super stiff. It does lay relatively flat. It has a back pocket um, with a coordinating color on the inside, which I love. A lot of times um, the inside of these pockets can have like weird colors and that always just bothers me. <laughs> um, but it's not, it's not super flimsy. It has just, just a really good amount of uh, structure to it without being like really stiff. His folios come with two strings um, so that you can, I suppose, add you know, inserts or whatever if you want. You've got a, two slip pockets on this side, you've got a secretarial pocket here, and then you've got some card slots along with a um, see-through pocket here. And you've got a full slip pocket here, and then four like card slot size pockets. And then you've got a zipper here. I love this detail that he does on these uh, covers. Um, the little piece of fabric that actually covers the zipper pull. Um, Cause sometimes this can scratch your um, planners when you put them in there. So I love that uh, little detail. And then he also includes a generous size pen loop in here uh, that does have elastic on it, which is really nice. Uh, so you can fit pretty much any size pen that you want in there. Uh, and then the back is just plain. So there you go. There's a little run through of that planner without, oh, another thing, let's just <laughs> notice this too, uh, that I forgot to mention is that he offers a double snap. So if you have a smaller planner in here, a thinner one or whatever, um, you can use the second snap to make it tighter. And as you can see, it lays really nicely. You wouldn't even really know that there's two snaps there. Um, but then the second snap allows for a humongous planner <laughs> to fit in here. Um, so when your weeks gets nice and chunky, it has plenty of room and then still has room actually for the, uh, pen loop, which is nice. I love that that does not interfere. So let's go ahead and I'll show you one with a weeks planner inside of it. So you can kind of see how that looks there. Um, I really like the structure of these and just kind of molds around whatever you put in here. So this is my sneaker weeks. So it is um, the one that has, does not have the um, hard cover on it. For mine though, I do have a jelly cover on it. This is just one that I made. Um, and I took the strings out of this. It actually came, um, I bought it secondhand. It came without the strings tied. So, um, there was no knot tied in it, so I just pulled it out because I didn't want to flap it around. Uh, and I won't use them anyway, so. And I've just I've just received uh, these covers actually in the last uh, week or so, and um, so I have not yet gotten everything kind of put in here that I want to, just a few decorations. But you can see how well the, um, like I have little tabs on my, weeks here and you still have plenty of room with this pen loop here. Let me actually show you. 
this one out of this planner. This is my Kalena. It's a pretty good size pen. So I will put this in here and you can see, uh, I keep mine snapped on the uh, tightest one. You can see that there's plenty of room. The The pen doesn't even, it maybe barely touch it. I'm trying to look down the, actually it doesn't touch um, the tabs. You've got a good, I don't know, eighth of an inch maybe. It's very, very hard to see and I'm definitely not gonna be able to catch it on camera, <laughs> but you can see that. So if you have uh, dividers in your planner, um, like the vinyl kind or whatever, you'll have plenty of room. So I love that because a lot of times if you have a pen, in the pen loop, in some of these covers, it will smash into your um, dividers or your tabs, and that just makes me crazy. So I love um, how roomy it is without being overly big, right? So um, this is just the black, I think it's called, oh, I can't think now what, what this, it's not called black, it's called something else. It's actually not available on his website right now. This this color is sold out, but, um, oh, why do I, I keep wanting to call it iris. It's not iris, I can't think of what it is. Anyway, um, very nice, really nice planners, very well made. Um, then I also have this color and this is orchid. So it's a very light lavender color. Um, so you can kind of see the pink and the orchid together, or the uh, flamingo and the orchid together. Um, and in this one, I just have uh, this planner from, this is a slim dot, dot grid uh, notebook from Sunshine Sticker Co. And I've actually just put this one in here because I'm using it to kind of track my social media uh, like posts and um, achievements and different things like that. I've almost gotten to... I'm almost to 3,000 uh, followers on Instagram, so that's really exciting. Uh, and um, almost to 2,000 uh, subscribers on my YouTube channel. So I'm just trying to kind of set some goals for myself, and I figured that this would be a really good thing to use this. Uh, so I haven't gotten anything put in here as far as decoration or whatever. That's one of the things I've always struggled with, <laughs> personally, is um, decorating the inside. So it's just plain for now, and uh, yeah, I'm loving these covers. I'm so happy that I purchased them. And uh, the other thing I like too is that um, the snap closures are very secure, and they're not cheap, I guess, um, for lack of a better word. Some of the planner covers that you get, you, you can just tell that the quality is just um, not there. And Kane with Print Pression has just really nailed it with these. These are these are lovely planner covers. So I will put a link to his shop below. Um, if you are interested in checking out his shop, he has all different sizes of um, planner covers. And then he also sells uh, a spiral um, planner. And then he has hardbound planners as well. I think B6 and weeks sizes are what he sells for those. My hope is that he will make one of the, he'll make the folio, the snap folio in an A5 size. So if you, <laughs> if you're like me and use an A5, um, definitely be on the lookout for that. I think he said that he's, he's working on it. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that he will come out with those because I really love the design of that folio. So let's move to the A5. Uh, this is my Hobonichi cousin. Oh, my little, my little bunny clip is smashed in there. Uh, this is the cousin. This cover is actually from Foxy Fix, which is no longer open. Uh, I don't know what the status is exactly with them. They said they were going to reopen uh, in early in 2021, and there's been no communication from them whatsoever. So, um, I don't know. I get a lot of compliments on this planner and a lot of people asking me where it's from. And I feel so bad because, uh, actually I have this one that came from Foxy Fix as well. And, um, this is Botanical Rose. This is Botanical Iris. And yeah, you just can't get them anymore. So hopefully, 
they'll open back up, but it's really not, not looking promising. Um, but these are two of my favorite covers. And yeah, like I said, I always feel kind of bad using them, but like they're so pretty and I want to use them and I paid good money for them. And so I'm using them. <laughs> uh, so the folio, I'll show you this one without a planner in it. Just to kind of just see. So um, I think you can get it with without a string. I got the string attached, but I just took it out because I tend to not like strings on my planner covers. I think they just, they leave a mark and it just, yeah, I prefer them without, but I did want to have the option to put a string in it at some point if I wanted. Uh, so this does not have a back pocket, but you do have, I got the um, crisscross pockets here. So you've got a full pocket and then another full pocket and then a little one here. And then this is where you would slip in. So this is the one actually that I got for a, um, like a, uh, I'm going to butcher this name, the Leuchtturm <laughs> with a notebook that has the elastic that goes around it. Um, but my cousin fits in here perfectly. So I don't, I don't worry about that. It's a minor detail. I do have an Archer and Olive, or not Archer and Olive, um, Amanda Rachel Lee notebook that has the elastic. That's just like the Leuchtturm and, um, or however you pronounce that. <laughs> Uh, and so it fits in here perfectly. So I like that I have the option to use the notebook that has the elastic on it, but I can also use it for my cousin or my Stalogy. So that is that one. Absolutely love it. Here's the back. And I got the black stitching. And then I think this is oil slick uh, foil, the stars. So that one. And then, yeah, like I said, this is my uh, botanical rose. The difference with this one is that it just has a secret secretarial pocket. Um, this one actually was a mystery sale item where my botanical iris was a custom. So that's the difference there. So I didn't have the choice of the pocket configuration, but I just put a folder in there that I keep um, some different stickers in that I'm using. And then um, I don't really miss, you know, the pockets, so. And I'll flip back here and you can see the difference between the inside of the one that is made to hold uh, the bound book, the Leuchtturm. So, and then this one that's made for a Hobonichi or Stalogy or whatever, where it's just a slip. And I don't know what this is for. I don't know if this is a pocket. I don't know. I don't use that. <laughs> and this one, the Botanical Rose doesn't have it. So I'm, I guess I'm not quite sure... Um, what that's for, but whatever. Anywho, so those are my Foxy Fix covers. Uh, then the next one I have is my Julio, and this is the Apunto in the Apoca Brown, and it's a perfect chocolate color. It's just gorgeous. Um, this was actually my anniversary and uh, birthday present from my hubby last year, and so I splurged, or he splurged, um, and I love it. It's, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous leather. It holds up so well. And you know, I'm not gentle on my planners at all. And if I get like even just a little scratch on it or whatever, they tend to just like, you just kind of rub it with your finger and it comes out. And I've, you, I've used this planner quite a bit since I've gotten it. And you can't really even see any signs of wear on it at all. So here's the inside. Uh, you've got pocket here, whoops, pocket here. And then this is not a pocket. So this is stitched down to hold this po these pockets here on. And then you've got this slip pocket on this side and all of the card slots. You've got a full pocket here, a zipper pocket, and then a, another secretarial pocket there or a secretarial pocket. Oh, and this does have the big back pocket in it. It's lined here. This is my, probably my one complaint with this planner. So whatever this is lined with is almost, um, it's kind of sticky. So when I put things in there, they tend to stick and it just, it almost feels like, I don't know if it's leather or, or what it is, but it's just, it's a different, it's very thin, I guess. And it's kind of squeaky. I don't know how else to describe it, but 
um, it's just, it's different. Anyway, other than that, it's perfect. Um, you've got your pen loop here and it has elastic on the back. Again, you can fit, you know, various size pens in here. It is um, tighter than the ones in the print pression. It's a smaller, um, smaller dimension, but like I said, it does have the elastic there, but it is, it's just not as flexible as the one in the print pressions. So um, I don't know if the elastic is tighter, but I'll show you the Klena in there because it's a heavier or heavier, uh, thicker pen, but like you really have to like shove that in there. And I'm just always afraid it's gonna like break my pen or something. So I tend to use smaller pens in this one. Then you've got the uh, little bookmarks here that come with it. So that's my Julio. All right, and then I've got my, uh, this is my A5 Hobonichi Day Free, and this is one I use for journaling. And this cover is from Catspresso Co. Uh, and I will link all of these uh, websites below for you. Um, I can link Foxy Fix, but the website is, is uh, I don't think it's actually closed, but there's nothing on it, but I'll link it when, you know, anyway, and uh, you can check that out. But so anyway, Caspresso Co. cover, it comes with three like card slot type pockets in the front there. And then I think, yeah, then it has a secretarial pocket back here. So that's really nice. And then um, what I did, because I don't like the blue color of the day free notebook, I actually just took a piece of black cardstock, put it inside of this, because this cover itself is clear, as you can see there. Um, and then that way it's, yeah, black, and it covers up that, that weird blue color of the notebook itself. So that's my jelly cover from Cat Espresso Co. Okay, and then this is my hand-stitched leather tee. So I uh, actually talked about this on my Instagram a couple weeks ago, um, I had a picture of it. And I thought, you know what, if I could only have one cover for my planner, it would be this one. This is like a workhorse type planner. I have had this, let's see, I had it, I got it last year. I think I've had it for two years. I should have looked back to see when I bought it. Um, yeah, I, I believe it's been two years since I got this. and. I mean, it's it's got some scratches and whatever, but it is just one of those <laughs> one of those covers that um, yeah, it's perfection. I love that it's rugged looking, and I don't have to worry. Like I said before, with the the other planners, I don't baby my planners. I throw them in my bag, throw them around. I carry them around the house with me from room to room wherever I'm at. I don't baby them, and so I need planners that are not gonna, I mean, this scratches easily, right? Like you can see where I just scratched that. But then if you want, you just go and rub it with your finger and it comes out. <laughs> so um, I love that. That is a huge thing for me with a cover is that I need, I need it to be sturdy and I don't wanna have to baby it. So this hand stitched leather tee, if I could only pick one, planner cover it would be this one for sure so you can um she will make the planner however you want it so you can get a front pocket you can do without a front pocket if you want I like it because I like to just kind of stick some decoration type stuff in there um or like if I have a bill that I need to pay that week I can stick in the front so that I remind myself of that here's the inside and again I got it with the elastic but I took it out uh, because sometimes when your planner gets really, really chunky, <laughs> you need to have that elastic to keep it closed. Um, so I like to have that option, like I said before. And then you've got this front, um, the two slots here that will hold your notebook if you want to put it on both sides. Um, we've got the uh, secretarial pocket here, and then it's a shorter one, and then a sec secretarial pocket here. She will do the inside pockets however you want. You can get no pockets if you want, or she'll do like the three card slots. Um, just, she is, Tanya is her name, and she 
she is just a gem to work with. She um, will help you get it just the way that you want it. And she's really, really fast. And her work is perfection. I just, I love her. So, <laughs> um, and now that she has her own website, it's a lot um, easier than it was on Etsy. And she opens her shop every few weeks, takes orders that she knows she can fulfill in those uh, couple weeks time period. And then, so she's closed, she makes the orders, she fulfills them, she opens back up. So yeah, she is very quick and does impeccable work and um, everything that she makes is always spot on. Then I, I got the back pocket um, on this one. And like I said, she'll put that on there or leave it off however you want. You can also get a pen loop that attaches to the um, elastic and uh, that's an option as well. So, all right guys, that's gonna do it for my, my planner collection, planner cover collection. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you later, bye.